Protect your home from home. Simple Caravan Insurance, sponsors of the Caravan Channel. And now we're going to go to Kent to visit Roulot Services, who specialise in repairing motorhomes and caravans. And in this programme, we're going to look at how they've put a distressed motorhome back to roadworthy condition. Uh, customer's been looking for a new van. Obviously, they're quite a lot of money. He's just about to retire, but he loves the van that he's got. He just can't afford to go out and buy another one exactly the same as to what he wants. So he's decided to keep the van, coming to us, wants us to bring it up to date a bit. He wants a wraparound lounge fitted inside the van, whereas at the minute it's just separate seating areas. Uh, he wants a little bed bit made up. Uh, the roof light needs resealing because it's start beginning to leak. Uh, the rear window needs resealing. Some 12 volt lamps inside, which he wants a new updated version ones. Uh, the fridge needs servicing. First off, I'll be looking at the roof light. So obviously the weather now this time of the year, with the water, the rain, it's gonna, it's gonna get worse and worse, and gradually it will rot the ceiling out completely. All right, first, customers asked us if we can reseal this roof light. There's been drips of water coming through, which means that the seal on the top is broken. What it will do gradually is it will eventually damage the complete board, it will discolour, then it will start to sag, and eventually it will just completely fall down. So what we need to do is undo all the fixings, take it out, reseal it, put it back. Right, firstly, you need to remove the fly net, like so, and pull it down towards you, like so. As you can see, it obviously hasn't been moved for a while. I think the customer's personally been frightened to touch it, just in case he pulls it and the water comes in even more. Now you've got the roof lights around. There's a few fixings all the way around it. So we get a drill and start undoing them. Okay, as you can see, there is watermarks on the timber. You can actually see where the ceiling board has started to go black. So the next thing to do is to get up on the roof. Oh, there we go. It's not, it's not even sealed that well. It's just broken away. I can actually take the whole thing out without even cutting it. You can see the water coming off it. Yeah, there's no sealant on that whatsoever. Okay, so this this is the old sealant. As you can see, I haven't even got to really scrape it. It's just peeling off. Take the last bits off. You get a cloth, some white spirit. Clean all the old muck off. It's now ready. Put the tape. It's like a mastic tape, it's double sided. It just stops any water from coming in. Stick that all the way around, around the seams. That's the sealant done. It's a matter of putting the roof light back. Okay, now that's all cleaned and the new tape's put on. I've wiped around the top of this roof light. It's now ready to go. You push that back up, like so. Just put it back down. Put it down, just so it beds in a bit. Now you're ready to screw the frame back. That's it. Now pull your roof light back down. The blind's now ready to go. One to the left, one to the right, line them up, 
give it a little tap and a right you just clip it up and push it in that's now resealed complete there'll be no water no more water coming in the van at all now that's the first job done there's plenty more to do it can be cost effective to obviously replace bits and pieces on a van than buying a new one. Uh, reason being it's just a lot cheaper than spending 30, 40 grand plus on a motorhome. Uh, you just modernise it up to your own specification really. I mean we can do more or less whatever you really want us to do. Uh, at the end of the day it's up to the customer. The customer's always, as long as the customer's happy, we're happy. Yeah.